All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shemak out of the Great Millstone, Atlanta Camp. Before I get started with the lesson, I want to first start off by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Wachah Kadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well known since Tabernacle of David. Shalom, all taught sincere brothers, push the teachings truth across the four corners of the earth. And Shalom, all taught sincere believers out there. Okay, here with a lesson concerning, um, you know, uh, don't tempt the Lord. Okay, not tempting the Lord in faith. All right. I want to start with Matthew chapter 4, verse 5. And part of the inspiration of this lesson, you know, came from uh, Apostle Tahar mentioning, you know, it will behoove, behoove you not to prepare for a, a outage, a power outage, man. As we see the times that we're in, you know, it will behoove us not to get necessary resources for the house, you know, flashlights or lanterns or whatever it may be, non-perishables, you know, a few more, a few extra packs of water, you know, just using the wisdom that we do have, us just being aware. You know, and that's being and that's using faith as well, man. Us, us understanding the times that we're in, and, and and doing and putting our wisdom to action. You know, you know, use it. You know, taking brothers' advice of getting this and getting that, or whatever the case may be. Re holding responsibility, man. And it, and in, in this case, man, is, you can just refer that to balance as well. Balancing out things, man. All right. It can it it can include everything, man. Not tempting the Lord. You know, I say that too because you are here. You will you are coming to the truth, and uh. And just think your spot is just guaranteed. You know, everything is just will just be given to you by Yahweh by Shmi Al Shah. And we understand we're going to be tried. Okay, but we're not we also can't be, you know, foolish and not use wisdom. We can't just sit here and act like uh we can't say just say to ourselves, you know, uh man, forget I ain't gotta do none of that shit, man. I ain't gotta eat healthy, I ain't gotta work out, I ain't gotta go to work, you know, hey man, you know, you how about Al Shah, you know, you gotta do necessary things, man. You know, this is this is being responsible, man, you know, truly being the man of the Lord. All right. But this is Matthew chapter four, uh, verse five. OK, with the, the uh, pair, with the situation with Yahweh Shai and Satan, man. All right. This is Matthew chapter four, verse five, because you don't want to tempt the Lord. And you you also don't want to tempt Satan. And the example of uh, tempting Satan, saying uh, for one example, to come to my head, middle of a nigga shootout. And you just up here walking in the middle of it, thinking you can't be touched because you believe in Yahweh by Shai. Hey, that's tempting the Lord and really true tempting Satan, man. All right. But we also we we ultimately of course don't want to tempt the Lord, man. But say it because say it's under the Lord's rule, rulership. All right. But this is Matthew chapter four verse five. It says it reads, "Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and set of him on a pinnacle of the temple, high up in the temple." Man says, "And said unto him, If thou be the son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and their hands they shall bear thee up." Let's say any time thou dash thy foot against a, against a stone. See, Satan knew what the hell he was doing, man. All right, because because the angels are going to are going to save us, man. All right, but we don't want to be foolish like these niggas out here and not get necessary things that we may use in these very times that we're in. You know, necessary things for the house, necessary things that we may have to leave the house. You know, maybe maybe the you know boots, coats, a tent. You know, whatever the case may be, that will work out for you. You know, for yourself, what is beneficial for you? You know, it says work out your own salvation, man. You got, you got, hey, we get, in this walk too, man, you got to learn to be your own man. A certain job may not be for you as it would be for another brother. You know, this, this, a certain situation may not be for you as it would be for another brother, man. All right, but you still got to work out your salvation, man. We're using wisdom, of course. All right. But in this, in this chapter, man, this verse here, Satan knew what he was doing, man. All right. Because that, that's part of the scriptures too. But hey, you don't want to tempt the Lord. Yahweh, look at what Yahweh Shah said. Verse 7. Yahweh Shah said unto him, which Jesus, Jesus is not the Lord's true name. It's Yahweh Shah, which means he delivers. All right. But continuing on, it says, it is written again. Thou shalt not tempt the, the Lord thy power. Okay. So that's something, you know, to consider and remember in these times, man. Hey, just don't, don't, no, don't, don't sit here and act like you just, a, you know, the, the, the super, the superhero Israelite, man. All right. The mighty Israelite. And then think you're just about to take on the world, all right? You know we hey, we we're worms, man. We need, of course, we need we we need deliverance from Yahweh by Shmuel all right? We, so we also got to use our wisdom as well in these times. So you know, if things are advised, you know, through the Spirit, you know, to 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 go get those resources or whatever the case may be, it can be within all things. It's a balance within all things, man. All right, it's a balance within it. Just uh, when you first hear the truth, you may. Uh, whatever, like I said, situation, man. All right, you no, know, we're not saying. You know, I say when I mention handling your business or, or a certain job or what case, we're not saying we're not saying to say, oh, go to college for eight years and get your doctorate. 
No, man, well, you know, do whatever, do as, hey, man, you got to, because you got to still pay the bills, whatever the case may be, man. You still got to handle your business, man. Okay? Well, you know what? Let me get, let me get that, because I know the scripture's talking about spiritually, but, hey, you got to, you got you can relate it to the flesh as well, man. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10. It says, for even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if any would not work, neither shall he eat. You know, and the scriptures in Sirach speak about a beggar. You know, you hey, it's better to die than be a beggar. You know, that's what the scriptures say. You know, so it shows you that a, it's a responsibility within being in the truth. You know, and that we should not tempt the Lord. Don't You know, you don't want to sit here and, and say, oh, uh, I ain't got to ain't work. I ain't got to do shit, man. I just, just read the scriptures, you know. And you got to balance it out, man. You know, you don't want to be, it's, it's really a form of over-righteousness, man. Over-righteousness, okay. Let's go to that chapter, Ecclesiastes chapter 7. All right, because you don't want to tempt the Lord, especially in these times, man. We want to continue to use our wisdom that He blessed us with. You know, He blessed He blessed us with with wisdom and brothers with wisdom around us. You know, to for, for us to utilize it. All right, to the to the maximum. All right, let's get uh, let's get Ecclesiastes chapter seven verse twelve. I spoke I spoke upon that work, or what the case may be. All right, it's Ecclesiastes chapter seven verse twelve. For wisdom is a defense, and I'm speaking as a young brother. Let me put that out. I'm speaking as a young brother, so I'm not, you know, you know any, you know any form of fashion trying to come off as, oh, I know, oh, I've been through all the experiences. No, of course not. I'm speaking as a younger brother, man. So, you know, just because those thoughts, because I, I say, I say that too, because you know, the, the inspired me to do this too, because those thoughts will come to your mind. I ain't got to do shit, man. Babylon's gonna be destroyed tomorrow. You know, you got, you got to balance it out, man. Cause you, or you'll destroy thyself. You know, you got, yeah, you got to balance it out, man. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 12 says, For wisdom is a defense. See, wisdom is defense. You know, it's wisdom. They receive from the wisdom knowledge and understanding of these scriptures, man. It's a defense. These people don't know what the hell is going on, but we do. That's why we're different, man. We're, we're, we're very different. All right. Continue on. It says, And money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to them that have it. See? And let's skip down to uh, verse 16. It says, Be not righteous over much. Neither make thyself overwise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? See, thinking you just high and mighty, holier than thou, man. All right, because we, because we understand, hey, we all, we, all, hey, brothers in this truth, you know, speak, speaking upon those sincere Hebrew Israelites. All right, we, hey, you, we all had to have those moments of those thoughts, man, man. Fuck everything, man. Fuck credit, you know. Because we, because we understand, we understand prophecy. That's where the balance comes from, man. It's it's, it's a challenge, man. This, that's it's a challenge being balancing truth. It's a challenge, you know, understanding what we know and actually living in this in this vain world. That's a challenge, man. It's it's, it's it definitely is challenging, man. Especially because we're in this flesh. It's like, damn, should I make this move? Should I make that move? Then you're like, ah, that's I'm gonna be destroyed though. So you know what I'm saying? So you got to It's it's a balance, man. Don't be righteous over much. Do what you got to do in your day to day, cause hey, you still got to eat. They, they, you see, gotta get your daily bread, and it's all from your how about Shmuel Shah, and that's another example, man. These stimulus checks, <laughs> you know, this, you know, just came to me. Hey, those these stimulus checks, man. You know, us using it wisely and not like these damn niggas and these nigga women. They over here buying rounds, they balling out with it, getting, you know, getting getting unnecessary th things they don't need, you know, accessories and not necessaries. All right, if I'm using that correctly, all right. But that's just one example. That's just one example that's that's happening in this present time. These six hundred dollars stimulus checks, and this if you may, and the masses may even get a two thousand dollars stimulus check, man. All right, speaking upon those that do receive it, all right, we that's 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 in our case using wisdom. We're like, oh, I got a little extra. Let me get this. Let me get that. All right, I made you. I made this maybe very useful for me later. All right, the yeah, the scriptures speak about pilgrims on the earth, things we may need that we, that we may that we may use when we have to leave the house for different for different scenarios within prophecy, man. All right, verse seventeen. Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldest thou die before thy time? Yeah, making you know, making you know, foolish, foolish decisions, man. In this walk, you know, we got it. We all got to count the cost, man. Let's see. Let's get uh, Luke it, being like like foolish. Uh, so like I brought up the example earlier, being being amongst the wicked shootout happen, a fight break out. You you right there, and you know, you just gotta be wise, man. You don't want to tempt. You don't want to tempt Satan either, man. All right, it's a balance that comes with it all. I'm not saying you can't go out or you know spend time with the family because you got you got to really, you, you know, you got to. <laughs> this is just a balance, man. It's all it's all a balance. All right, it's all experience as well too, man. 
Everybody's walk is different. You know, you know, of course you don't put your family over your how about shmi all right? But it's okay to spend, you know, spend time, you know, spend time with the fam, you know, especially if they're if you're in good standing with your family or whatever the case may be, all right, with your children, all right. You you don't gotta just sit here and, and uh hate hate uh of course you know understand you we hate Babylon but you don't gotta uh have it take over your spirit man you know you hating Babylon over taking joy in Yahweh by Shmuel all right let's get Luke chapter fourteen verse twenty eight all right count the cost man this Luke chapter fourteen verse twenty eight let's see yeah this should be it all right it says for which of you intending to build a tower Sit him not down first and count the cost, whether he has sufficient to finish it. Lest happily after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it should begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Yeah, and also we know this 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 scripture is speaking upon those of finishing and enduring the faith, the good the good fight of faith. All right. But I wanted to emphasize that verse 28 of counting the cost. You know, we and you gotta count the cost of every decision within life. You know, every decision in life, and when one of those and those decisions include, you know, the, hey, not tempting the Lord, man, not 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 thinking you don't have to read or do videos or you know or eat or eat healthy or buy or buy necessary resources that you may that may be useful and beneficial to you later on in life, you know, you know, or coming soon, all right, <laughs> coming soon, man. But it's all, of course, going to come down, though, because you don't want to get it misconstrued, man. It's going to come down. You know, to the standard, and that, hey, that's another thing too. You know, you you because you hear you you'll come off or have those thoughts of like, man, if I'm a man of the Lord, man, he he got me anyway. Which is, hey, that can be very true, all right. But you don't, you do not want to cause your own suffering, man. You do not want to cause your own suffering. You don't want to be on a job wearing your your full out garment. And the, and the apostles teach us that, man. They warn us about these things that because they, they they apply, they they gain the wisdom to to put on to us, you know, to add to us, man. To watch over our souls, and we and we take heed to that. That's why it's important to take heed to the wisdom of the brothers, man, to the brotherhood, you know, of counsel. All right. This is Isaiah chapter fifty nine verse nineteen because this is also prophecy, and this is also going to be needed. All right. Not saying the whatever we get those that those damn waters that you know we have the whatever the case may be. All right. Those resources you may have now, saying it's going to help you deliver the money you have. It's going to help you be delivered. No, we're just saying you know do do the necessary things. To get you to get you on you with doing your day to day life. That's all you know. That's all I'm putting out there, man. All right, because some things that have you hindering yourself from advancing. You know, whatever that case may be. All right, you. But within yourself, you know that within your own walk. All right, this is Isaiah chapter fifty nine verse nineteen. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and His glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Hey, that's what it's going to come down to, man. All right. But until we get that standard, we're gonna have to do the necessary things that we need to do to to uh to be upright, okay? While while we're here in Babylon the Great, which is America, but that standard is coming for His elect, man. That standard is definitely coming, all right. That standard is definitely coming, man. And we're gonna need it, man. We're gonna need that standard, okay? And that standard goes into a way for us to escape or disappear in these situations that we're about to come into in these last days, all right. But it just hit my spirit. And part of it was from uh, Apostle Hart mentioning that hey, it would behoove you not to prepare for, you know, power outages or whatnot. Because you because you had that mindset or just or 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 for yourself, put yourself in your own delusional thoughts, you know, to have you thinking you're just so so mighty and you can just endure whatever case uh whatever comes upon you, which is very possible because hey, it's all all things are possible in your house shot. But you don't want to cause your own suffering, man. All right. Don't definitely don't want to cause your own suffering. So hey, and this part of that's and that that really takes a, a level of humility, man. Being humble. All right. But you no, know, Lord willing knows this was edifying and exhorting for you sincere believers. I want to end off by giving all the glory and infinite praise unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakadash. Double honesty, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule and of Seat Tabernacle David. Hey, Shalom. Ababu.